not just man's best friend. A dog is a lifeline if you're blind or visually impaired. But two taxi drivers simply didn't feel the same way. As a result, cab drivers Talib Hussein, aged 51, of Chevron Close, Marland, and Mohammed Idris, aged 37, of Bolton Road in Sutton, were prosecuted at Rochdale Magistrates Court. The facts of this case are very simple. The law says that it is illegal to discriminate against anybody on the grounds of them having a disability, and that, quite simply, is why two taxi drivers have ended up in the magistrate's court. Down at Rochdale's Station Road taxi rank, where it happened, this driver was surprised. I've been taxiing in Rochdale for 17 years, yes. and it's never been an issue for for hackney carriages to.、Um, Carry guide dogs. We do, we take all sorts of dogs from vets and everything.、Yeah. Rochdale Council has refused to reveal the reasons which the taxi drivers gave for refusing to take the guide dog in their cabs. But the Disability Discrimination Act makes the law very clear, says Richard Woodcraft of Guide Dogs for the Blind. It doesn't matter whether it's a hackney cab or a private hire vehicle, but since March 2004.、Mm. The drivers are legally obliged to accept、uh, a guide dog with its owner、uh, for a journey in their particular vehicle. Rochdale Council says this is the first time they've brought a prosecution of this sort, but they say they're willing to do it again as required. Kevin Duffy for Channel M News.